fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver, the Lone Ranger. In the early western United States, justice was as rough and ready as the country. Lynching parties were frequent, and it was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for law and order that a man received a fair trial when he was accused of a crime. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Rivalry between Jack Roberts and Deputy Sheriff Red Denton developed into a bitter feud when they both paid court to Jane Morgan. As our story opens, Jack Roberts and Jane are riding slowly toward town. Well, Jane, can't you tell which one of them she liked best? <laughs> Maybe. I sure wish it was me. That's what Red says, too. Red? I had a low down... Jack? Well, what's the use in hiding it? I reckon everybody around town knows what Red and me think of each other. They do, and I don't like it. You could change things if you wanted to. I could. Sure. Just say you and me are going to get hitched. With that settled, Red and me wouldn't have nothing left to fight over. I, I can't say yet. Why not? Well, I, I have to have more time. Uh, more time to think it over. Now, listen to me, Jane. You know blame well I ain't saying you'll have to marry me right away. I know. I'd like to get hitched right off, but, well, I just ain't got the cash. Been doggone hard trying to get that spread of mine started. But wouldn't surprise me none if I had enough for marrying right after roundup time. If cattle fetches a halfway decent price. It, it ain't the money you have. Well, what? If I cared for someone, I, I wouldn't mind how bad off he was. Golly, Jane, I'd give a heap to have cash enough to marry you without waiting. I haven't said I'd marry you yet. Oh, you no. just forget about it for now. There's the house. I'll have to hurry to get supper ready for Paul. And, and you'd better be getting home. Well, I'll be... Uh, what Red I... Denton. Don't he ever stay away from your place? Red's got a right to call on me if he wants to. I wish he didn't. Afternoon, Miss Jane. Hello, Red. Whoa, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <sighs> I wasn't expecting you to call today, Red. <laughs> right glad I did, though, ain't you? Too bad you had to waste your time riding with that no-good cow nurse. I'll see here, Red. David. Suppose you've been doing like you usually do, huh? What's that? Telling a pack of lies about me to Miss Jane here. Please, I, I never lied about you in my life. No? I heard you had. What's more, I heard you've been threatening me behind my back. That ain't so. If I want to make threats, I'll make them to your face. Blame lucky for you, Miss Jane's here. 
You've got a good licking coming to you for some of the things you've said. Well, then maybe we better start right now. Stop it, Jack. Both of you, stop it. Jane, I ain't going to... You both stop this crawling or I'll never speak to either one of you again. I ain't done nothing. It ain't me that's starting to fight, Miss Jane. Well, it's, it's both of you. You're both to blame. Oh, shucks, Jane. I don't go to feeling bad. Go away. But, Jane, I... Didn't you hear me? I said go away. You and Red both. Well, if that's the way you want it. Maybe I'll drop around tomorrow. Miss Jane. Yes? I'm right sorry we bothered you. I'm apologizing here and now. And I'll be back when this here skunk ain't around. By heavens, Red, it's plain to be seen. It ain't going to be long before you and me have a real showdown. I've stood for about all I'm going to. You just name the time. This town ain't big enough for both of us. That's my opinion. So I suggest that you pack and get. Me? Why, you pole cap, the only thing I'll pack will be a gun. And it'll be loaded for you. Jane. Hey, Jane, wait, won't you? I I hate both of you, both of you. But, Jane. (laughs) (laughs) Looks to me like maybe you ain't so popular as you was. Guess you just don't know how to manage females. This is your fault, Red. Yeah. And the next time you meddle, you'd better be primed for action. Get up. Get up there. <laughs> that night at the cafe in town, Red Denton hailed a swarthy half-breed who sat alone at one of the tables. Hi there, sleep. It is you, amigo. Hey, what in blazes are you doing here? Thought you was down Pico's way. See? <laughs> no, amigo. The law, she is not friends with Philippe in that country. <laughs> Put up your old tricks, eh? Ah, it was nothing. That is cattle store. The law say Philippe is to blame. So you skipped and headed this way, eh? Should I not, amigo? Don't worry, it ain't none of my business. Fact is, I'm kind of glad you come along. Yeah. Come to think of it, I'm real glad. How you fix for cash? You need the money? Oh, I'm so sorry. My pockets, they are empty. That ain't I what would... I mean. No. Keep your voice down. I got a proposition to make. You can take it or leave it. Only... Huh? Only after all, I'm a lawman. Turn me down and maybe I'd see where it wouldn't look just right for a lawman to let a wanted crook hang around town. Savvy? Now you wear the badge, amigo. But I remember a time in the past... Shut up you... about the past. See, see. <laughs> I say nothing. You say nothing. It's the same. You're going to do me a favor. But, amigo, I Now, just to... you wait till you hear it before you start making objections. I will listen. But I do not make the promise. Philippe, there's an hombre in this town I don't like. A fellow I've been waiting to get for quite a while. You do not like him? Like him? The happiest day of my life will be when I see that sidewinder sitting in jail. You are the deputy. It should not be difficult. That's out. I can't use my badge to get him. No. Wouldn't be safe. But if it wasn't for him, I could be hitched to the daughter of the richest gent in town. He's all that stands in my way. Diablo. No, I comprehend. You wish me to kill him. You got me wrong. That'd be the worst thing that could happen. Jane's just the kind likely to feel so sorry for him, she'd never get around to listening to me. <laughs> you are very strange. All I want to do is fix it so as he'll look to be crooked. You have the scheme? Uh-huh. And a good one. See? It's like this, Philippe. The fellow I mean has just got a two-bit spread south of town. He just started. His handle's Jack Robbins. See? He's crazy about Jane, but he can't marry her till he gets some cash. Go on, let me go. Now, being a deputy, I happen to know that Jane's pa keeps plenty of cash and dust, and that story is down the street. He's asked the sheriff to keep an eye on it special tonight. Money. <laughs> this sounds most interesting. Now, look, Philippe. The way I got it figured, you and me could split what's there. If you just like I said. Hey, there he is, Tyler. You can see him through the window here, talking to that deputy. Ah. Uh. We didn't get something on that fellow yet, Kimosabe. No, want that fellow and pick off. Only for questioning. They have no real evidence against him. That's why I suggested trailing him secretly. Uh, the best we can do is to keep him under observation. Sooner or later, he'll hang himself. Why him talk to Lawman? Red Denton? Hmm. I don't know. It's clear they're well acquainted, however. Uh, I wonder if Red knows Fleet's reputation. Maybe. They got their heads close together. Mm, that's right. So whatever they're discussing, they don't want it overheard. What do you think? I don't care much for Red's looks. Uh. I 
don't like the way they're talking. If everything was above board, they wouldn't take so much trouble to keep their voices down. Mm, that's what me thinks. Well, Tonto, back to camp. We won't learn more here. Mm. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Come on, Get him up. <laughs> See, amigo. You savvy just what to do? See. Good. We'll have a drink on it. Barkeep, bring us a bottle and glasses. The next morning, in the Morgan home... Father? That's you, Jane? About this. I want to get your laundry for Sing Lloyd. That Chinese here? We'll be soon. Well, just a second. Where do I get my coat on? There. Good morning, honey. Paul, you're getting lazier every day. Just look at the clock. Almost. <laughs> oh, who's there? Funny time of day for callers. I'll ask you. Well, whoever it is, he sounds in a powerful hurry. Oh, good morning, Sheriff. You're Paul up, Miss Jane? Oh, yes, he... What do you want with me, Sheriff? Morgan, I got bad news. Yeah? You've been robbed. Oh. Huh? Your store was broke in. Only that ain't the half of it. No? There was a killing besides. Oh, no. Well, I'll be blasted. What's going on nights around town here? I thought you promised your deputy to keep a watch on my place. He did. That's who got killed. Red? Red Denton killed? Uh, just so. Sheriff, who's the skunk that shot him? He wasn't shot, Morgan. He was knifed. Knife. Jane, get my hat. Hold it, Morgan. But I... There ain't no great hurry about you getting to the store. I got fellas guarding it. You ain't got no objections. I'd like to ask Miss Jane here some questions first. Me? You think my daughter knows something about a killing? Why, you blame... No, don't me. get head up, Morgan. This is serious business, and I got a notion Miss Jane can help us. You don't mind, do you, Miss Jane? What? What is it you wish to know? I heard that Jack Roberts had an argument with Red yesterday, and I'm wondering if it's true. What? Why, I... It is? Well, I... You can answer that, Jane. It, it didn't mean anything. It couldn't. They were always quarreling. They... Yeah, I know they were. What is it, Sheriff? You suspecting Jack? I got reason to. You're wrong, Sheriff. You're wrong. Red was killed with Jack's knife. Don't tell me I don't know whether it's Jack's knife or not, because I do. It's got his initials carved in the handle. I've seen it a hundred times before, and so has most everyone else in town. Is that all you got to go on? Almost enough, ain't it? But there's more just the same. How much cash you have in this store? Mm, a thousand in silver and another thousand in dust. Uh, Two thousand, say. Well, that'd be a right handy sum for a young fella struggling to get a start so he can get married. Oh, you don't know what you're saying. Uh, don't I? Ain't that been about all Jack's been talking about a little? How he wished he had plenty of cash? But he'd never do Now, that. honey, the sheriff's got a case all right. How'd you figure it all happened, Sheriff? I figure like anybody else would. Jack broke in your store, Red caught him at it, and got killed for doing his duty. Mm. Any witnesses to that? No, but... Uh... Father, Sheriff, there is the witness. Ah, Philippe, I mean. Huh? What's that? It? it is so. Last night, I do not sleep, senor. I go for the walk. By the store, I had a great argument. Then one, two minutes afterwards, I see senor Roberts run like anything. Just the evidence I need. Why didn't you tell me this before? Then I do not know the man is killed, amigo. I have just heard it. I find you at once. My gosh, that clinches it. Breed, I could shake your hand for that. I... No, no, hey, no. What did I do? I, it is nothing. Why, his hand's cut. Do not be concerned, senorita. It is only that this morning when I shave, I am careless like the big fool. Cut your hand shaving, huh? <laughs> well, I've done the same myself. Look here. I want you to come with me where I can keep you close by. And you, Morgan, you coming? Arresting Jack, are you? If he ain't already skipped the country, which I reckon he hasn't, seen as how he likely don't know he was seen. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll go along. Wait, Paul. He'll be along in a minute, Sheriff. Sure. Coming, Philippe? See. Well, Jane. Oh, Jack isn't guilty. You've got to believe that. He isn't. What makes you so sure? Because I... Because he... Well? Because, Pa, I've just found out the way I feel. Jack's the man I... I'm going to marry. Oh. I'll over, away! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. As our second act opens, the Lone Ranger reigns in his great horse, Silver, at the well-hidden camp where Tonto has been waiting for him. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, fellow. Oh. Tonto, I've been listening to the sheriff. Jack Roberts is going to be arrested for Red Denton's murder. Him kill him? I can't believe he did. Him good feller. You and I have seen a lot of killers, Kimasabe, but we've never seen one of Jack's type among them. Ah. And that knife business. What's that? Jack supposed to have murdered Red with a knife. I can imagine the two of them fighting it out with guns. But a knife just isn't in character. Ah. Although the knife does belong to Jack. There's no doubt about it. It's been identified by a dozen men. Knife sound like breed. I wonder if you're thinking of the same fellow I am. Me think of Philippe. And so am I. I noticed something today. What that? I was outside Morgan's house when the sheriff and the breed were there. Philippe's hand had been cut recently. Oh. He said he cut himself shaving. <laughs> Maybe him lie. It wouldn't be the first time. I'd give a lot to know the truth about that. Uh, what sheriff do? That's why I returned here, Tonto. Sheriff and a posse are on the way to Jack's place now. We're following. Go now? Yes. Here, Scout. I want to see if Jack's disappeared. If he hasn't, I want to see if the sheriff gets more evidence against him. Uh, There's another thing more important still. Uh-huh. The townspeople are aroused. They may insist upon a lynching. If Jack's innocent, we'll have to prove it quickly, or it'll be too late. We prove it. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout! Sheriff, accompanied by Philippe and several newly sworn in deputies, lost no time riding to Jack's cabin. There, he and his party drew rein, dismounted swiftly. Well, his horse. He's here, all right. He's a killer, man. Go with your irons and keep him ready. Heist him! I said reach! Big. You're under arrest for the killing of Red Denton. Make a move and I'll blast you. Red? Red killed? You know he is. Men, search the cabin. See what you can find. Hey, wait just a minute. Maybe he was fool enough to keep some of the stuff he stole around. If he did, so much the better. We'll find anything there is to be found. What in blazes is this? What right have they got to go through my things? What's this about something being stolen? That don't go, Jack. But Sheriff... Bob and Morgan wasn't such a good idea. It's going to see you hung. Huh? I robbed James Pa on top of killing Red? Ah, so you're admitting it. I ain't admitting nothing. I'm just saying that Save I... Save your breath. We found your knife. Knife? Didn't have the nerve to use a gun, did you? Figured it might be heard, huh? Sheriff, that's just where you get shown up. Yeah? So you found my knife, huh? Well, if it'll interest you any, my knife's right over here on the table where I all... Always... Uh-huh. It's gone. It's gone. Well, what am I supposed to do? Figure you didn't know it was gone? Well, I put it right there. Right there on that table by the window. Uh-huh. You don't believe me. Look like a fool, do I? The sheriff, I'm... Sure. Uh, find something, Philippe? This sheriff. I find this. That's gold dust. Let me see. Well, that, that's my shirt. It was wrapped up in this shirt. There ain't much here. Where's the rest of it, Jack? Where'd you hide it? No use in your holding out now. There's a mistake. I didn't steal anything. Somebody planted that there, I tell you. You won't confess? I can't. I can't tell you what I don't know. What'll we do with him, Sheriff? Put him on a horse. We'll take him to town. There's a chance of his being lynched. Is there? Then it'll just save the county the expense of a hanging. Get going. the sheriff took his prisoner to town, Philippe slipped away from the group unnoticed. It was not long after that Sing Loy, the Chinese laundryman who served the town, turned his ancient cart and horse toward home after finishing his collections. Long word, but sound good to Sing Loy. Oh, horsey, look, let up. Hey, you very slow horse, get up. 
Got a plenty big washy. Fetch them plenty to do. Oh, oh holy smoke. Stop that, Daniel. Oh, what do you want? Stop what you want, Paul. Oh, 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 oh there. Long? oh, What do you want? He's single on. Stop the noise. Give me the laundry, you senor deputy. No, no, can't Quit, do. No, can't. Quick, I shoot. Oh, you know, Peggy, you know, steal from me. You wish to die, no? No, no, sing lawyer, and no. I will that. not argue. Oh, all right, you take it washy. All the same, you get here arrested. This is all of it, yes? This is all. But blind by, you play plenty, steal it, washy. Hold on there. What is it? I'll take that laundry, Philippe. Oh, 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 Scott. What is it? I said I'd take it. You don't watch not. him, Tano. You want your mask. Hand it over. No, no, I will not. And I'll take it. There. I'm not arguing with you. I kill for this. No, you <laughs> don't. My hand. You're lucky I didn't shoot to kill. But you do not capture Philippe, senor. Oh, him, get away. You get him. Him, very bad fellow. Look there, Tonto. What that? The saddlebags on Philippe's horse. Fool. He was ready to leave town. We catch him? They're getting ready to hang Jack. Uh-huh. And they've got to be stopped. Did you get Philippe, Tonto? Let me get him. And after him. I'll try to save Jack. Uh-huh. When you get that breed, bring him back to town. Now on your way. Get him up, scout. Lonely. You keep black lonely. Sing Loy, you get in trouble. You'll get it, Sing Loy, later. Come on, Silver. Come on. The sheriff, arriving in town with Jack, was met by a mob which he did not try to control. Instead, he himself led the way to a gnarled tree outside of town that had served more than once as a gallows. There, while Jack sat astride his horse, a noose was fastened about his neck and the free end of the rope thrown over a limb. The mob shouted, Bring the killer up. What are we waiting for? What's the use of wasting time on him? Bring him up! Bring him up! Hanging's too good for him. Send him on his way, sheriff. Bring him up! Let me go, Sheriff. Let me go. I never killed nobody. You're hanging the wrong man. Jack, talk won't do you no good. The evidence is all against you. If it wasn't, I'd be the first to set you free. As it is, you're only getting what you deserve. How could I kill anybody when I never left the cabin last night? We got a witness said you did. Who? The Breed. Where is he now? Let me face him. He's somewhere in the crowd. But there's no need of going over his story again. Sheriff, I... Just a second. First, there's the breed word again you. He lied. Then there's that knife of you. Which was stole from me. And the gold dust wrapped up in your shirt. And the fact that you threatened Red the day before. And a dozen other things. They all add up to just one answer. You're as guilty as all bleed. Well, everything's against me. There's just one thing remaining for you to do. What's that? Tell us where you hid the rest of what you stole from Morgan. It ain't going to do you no good where you're going. You might just as well talk. What's the use of talking? You won't believe nothing I say anyhow. Well, keep still, then. I reckon we'll find the cash without your help if we have to. Jane. Oh, oh, Jack. Don't go and how'd you get here? This ain't no place for you. You get back in town. You aren't going to hang him. You can't stop us. You'll pay for this if you do. Dad, rat it, Miss Jane. You go on home. Wait, Jane. Yes, you- you really believe I'm not guilty? Of course you are. Thanks, honey. Are you going willing or ain't you? I won't go. I won't. Fellas, grab her. No. Get away. Let me be. Take your hands off me. Take her away. Come on. You coward. You murdered. You'll be sorry. You'll pay for this. You'll pay for this. No, I reckon we can get down to business. Oh, what the? A masked man. Who's this? An outlaw. Look at that horse. Watch out. Stand aside or we'll get trampled. Get out of the way. Watch out. Oh, 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 oh. I'm the law here. I'm telling Help, you. Help, you're covered. A shot at me means a bullet in the sheriff. Keep your hand from your guns. And don't move. I'm cutting Jack free. Hey, you can't Quiet. Quiet down, everybody. There. Come on, stranger. Let's ride for it. Not so fast. We've got to... We're our... settling this here. I'm not breaking this man free, Sheriff. I'm stopping the hanging of an innocent man, and I'll prove it. Bless you. You won't get away with this. The man you want is Philippe. The breed? Right. You're local. Listen to me. I can tell you just about what happened last night. If I'm wrong, you can get the truth from Philippe later. What do you mean? Philippe and Red Denton planned to rob Morgan's store and put the blame on Jack. But Philippe double-crossed Red, killed him, and made off with the cash. That takes proven. And you'll get it. Philippe could easily have stolen Jack's knife and lay on a table within reach of the window. Philippe could also have planted the little gold dust that was found while pretending to make a search. You still ain't proved nothing. Then look at this shirt. Where'd you get that? From Red Denton's laundry, but it belongs to the breed. See? Here are his initials. How'd it get sustained? Not from just a cut on the hand while shaving. It uh, looks to be just about that breed's size. 
But how did getting Red's laundry? The lead didn't dare to return to the hotel last night in this shirt after the killing. So he went to Red's place and took a shirt belonging to him, leaving this behind. It was with the rest of the laundry that Sing Loy gathered up today. Where is that breed? I aim to ask him some questions. Mind you, I ain't saying you're right, but I'm looking into this. Philippe! Hey, where are you? He's coming now. Oh, it's a redskin with him. My friend, Tonto. Philippe was leaving town, and Tonto went after him. Well, I'll... Oh, 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 Get off that horse, mister. <sighs> what, amigo? And careful who you call amigo. Now hold still while I take a look at this shirt you're wearing. Why, thunder stranger, you was right. Look here. Sleeves four inches too long. If this ain't red shirt, I'll eat mine. Morgan. What's happening here? Look inside Philippe's saddlebags. I think you'll find everything that was stolen from you. With the exception of the dust Philippe used to pin the guilt on Jack. It's there, all right. I thought so. Breed, that's your finish. The mask on I shoot away but one gun. I have still another. Oh, oh, no! Not a white wine, you sidewinder. Sheriff, I'm free? That's the breeze. And you got the masked man to thank for it. Stranger, I... Oh, get him up here! Don't no, whoop them! Well, oh, God. That proves it. That proves just what I suspicioned when I first seen that gem. Huh? You see him leave without waiting to be thanked? Friends, there goes the Lone Ranger. <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.